Hi, I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District. And I wanted to talk a little bit to expand on the previous video explaining the whole concept of a publicly owned bank. This year in the legislative session, this is 2014 that was just concluded, we had an opportunity to implement a publicly owned state bank to address one of our crucial needs facing the state right now. Well, a number of needs actually. Fundamentally, we have a real problem with having access to capital to build the roads that we need to build and the schools that we need to build to accommodate the McCleary decision. But an even bigger problem that we did not address is in how we're going to implement Initiative 502, which legalized recreational marijuana. So, you know, we are creating this huge, potentially a billion dollar marketplace, but most people don't realize that that entire marketplace is totally unbankable because according to the federal government, they say, well, yeah, Washington, you may have legalized it, but as far as the federal government is concerned, it's still illegal. It is a Schedule I controlled substance. So, unfortunately, all of our banks are regulated and audited by federal regulators who, when they look at the bank's books, have the potential for actually shutting down those banks and um, just uh, taking the money because it's considered money laundering or supporting organized crime or graft or what you you name it it's it's just illegal as far as federal government's concerned so but that being said the US Attorney General gave us a, two sets of guidelines one of them was how to implement the recreational marijuana marketplace in a manner that they would feel comfortable in allowing us but that set of guidelines did not address how the money is to be dealt with. So a second set of guidelines was also sent out by the U.S. Attorney General, but that was not enough to make it okay for banks to get into it. The guidelines just said, well, as far as we're concerned, it's still illegal, but you know there may be a way where you can do it if you do yada, yada, yada. Well, banks need more certainty than that. They're responsible for billions of dollars of other people's money, and they can't put their assets in harm's way that way. It's kind of reckless. So what we had was an opportunity through my bill, SB 5955, which created the Washington Publicly Owned Trust, which created our own local state publicly owned by the taxpayers financial institution that would handle all the transactions in this new regulated marketplace to deal with marijuana. Because most people think, well, we need to be able to collect taxes, of course, off of it, but how do you know how many, how many taxes, what the correct amount of taxes is if we don't know how many dollars or transactions they're actually having in these retail outlets? So the entire marketplace has to deal in cash because the banks can't handle it. That being said, the King County Sheriff went back to Congress to testify how unconscionable it is for us to implement a billion dollar marketplace on a cash basis. That just opens businesses and the public up to possible armed robberies and theft and organized crime and all kinds of bad stuff. What we need is a way to track every transaction in that marketplace so that we can assure the U.S. Attorney General that we're complying with their guidelines and hopefully keep them out of the state's business. This institution, the Washington Public Publicly Owned Trust, would have been able to track every last transaction because don't forget, there's not just the seller and the buyer, the retail buyer who wants to buy an ounce of marijuana or whatever. You've also got growers who have to buy seed, who have to purchase farming equipment. You've also got distributors who have to purchase trucks and all of these things. So we've got this entire marketplace that is totally unbanked. That's just, to me, it's irresponsible for us to implement this billion dollar marketplace that is cash based. So Colorado, who also legalized recreational marijuana is facing a very similar problem. They're moving forward on a cash-based system. I just don't think that that is rational nor responsible.
So the legislature, unfortunately, missed our opportunity this past legislative session to implement the Washington Publicly Owned Trust. I'm hoping that the consequences to that lack of action by the legislature will not end up in costing lives or, at the minimum, forcing us to repeal Initiative 502 because the federal government is saying we're not implementing it correctly. So at any rate, uh, if you want to learn more about Senate Bill 5955, you can go to my legislative website, which is bob.hasegawa at ledge.wa.gov. You'll see it scroll at the bottom of your screen, or you can call my office at 360-786-7616. So for now, um, I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District, and I look forward to chatting with you sometime. Thanks.